but I was kind of going looking through some of the lyrics today that I haven't dove into in a while. And it's funny how in 2022, some of these lyrics still stand true and even can be taken in a different way. Like in a song like priceless, you know, you can almost add, add social media to that. And, and, you know, just uh, today's world and social media and how, how people are selling their souls and all that stuff for, for a little bit of fame on the internet. When, when you wrote that, I mean, you obviously that none of that was even uh, uh, thought about, but it's kind of crazy how some of those lyrics still to this day, you know, can translate to the world. Yeah. I mean, that's um, one of the greatest rewards of being in a band and doing this kind of thing is when your message um, holds true. And when the message kind of, um, is timeless, you know? So, you know, I think someone pointed out to me, you know, the past couple of years during the pandemic, there was all kinds of like, you know, obviously the political scene in the country mm -hmm. is, is, you know, really ugly and, you know, all the things going on and, and people were pointing out the lyrics of uh, weak tyrant to right. me from the album. And I was like, wow, you know, this kind of like, seems like I wrote this yesterday, you know? And, <laughs> um, and I, you know, I'm, I don't really like, think about what these lyrics are you know like 25 years later you know it's not like on the front of my brain but um going back and looking at it i was like oh okay um but overall the concept of progression through and learning and the title itself was all about um you know reflecting on how you grew up and just because i grew up thinking these things, believing these things, learning these things doesn't make them right, doesn't make them, you know, absolute, doesn't make them what I have to always think and feel and believe. And so it was a little bit about challenging, you know, uh, not disrespecting my upbringing, you know, because um, it's different. You know, I, I appreciate, you know, the way I was raised and, and, and the way things kind of came together for me. But coming into myself and being more of a, you know, individual and, thinking about, you know, how do I really see the world? You know, it doesn't have to be the way I was told to see the world. So be able, before you can really like embrace new things, new concepts or see things through a different lens, you kind of have to forget the one you had. Right. And so that was the whole idea behind that. Um, so. Yeah. Even like a, like a guilty by ignorance. It, it hit, it hit me a little bit different in my forties than it would have at 18 because, you know, now I've got a little bit more, spending money and, and you can buy certain things, but, but, but then again, guilty by ignorance because you don't know where the money that you're spending is going and what the, the companies are doing with said money, you know, and now, now that you can buy a little bit bigger ticket items as, as an older guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, a couple of things on the album, man, obviously the snare drum. I mean, when you first heard the snare drum, how did that hit you, man? Cause you hear that just right off the bat on caboose and then just throughout the entire album, man, it's, it just, pound you the entire album yeah i mean it's a bit obnoxious to be quite honest <laughs> but, you know but you know i think we we went in there i think that was part of steve saying all right if we're gonna push the tempos you know you can't have everything bassy and, and muddled up because you just won't hear it you know so we're gonna make this snare really crisp and it's gonna cut through these faster tempos um it's going to cut through all this crunching guitars and daryl screaming and you know and you know we had no idea like to us in the studio it sounded we liked having separation and being able to say well that's a snare that's the kick that's the toms i hear albums sometimes where the snare sounds just like a, like a an extra tom and right I don't think that snares should all sound like the one on our <laughs> album, but I think they should sound like a snare versus yeah. like another Tom drum. Um, um, and so, you know, I want to hear that crack. I want to hear a little bit of that ring. Um, but yeah, we had no idea. Steve probably had no idea, but we got more interest emails, messages about that snare drum than you could imagine for like <laughs> 20 years, you know, what kind of snare is that? How did Tim tune? 